it's a word from our non-sponsors. So, um, uh, uh, who wants to go first? Come on, guys. I'll go first. My, uh, you know, non-sponsor person I'm going to be sponsoring is Nintendo. Because yes! I have been on hmm. Super Smash Brothers kick like crazy. I- I'm going so, I- to gentlemen... latch on to yours, actually, because that was mine. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking for the ideal family gift for yourself, for your family, for your children, for your wife, whoever, you just get yourself a Nintendo Switch. $300, I'm sure there's some bundles on there. You can play everything that was iconic back in the day. You you can play the new modern stuff that's fantastic. There's just great games are out there for single players, such as you know Mario Odyssey and then Breath of the Wild. Or you can get the ultimate, I'm coming over, you got friends, it's Christmas holiday spirits. Pick up Super Smash Brothers, which just came out last week on Friday. If you don't have it now, what's wrong with you? You play up to eight people. Get the old cool controllers. If you have a GameCube around, you get an adapter for like 20 bucks. It's just so much fun. 70 characters, more to come. You don't know, you can change the way of how you play from having weapons, no weapons, pure skill. It's the ultimate smack talk holiday fest. Get yourself a Switch. I'm supporting Nintendo as our non-sponsor sponsor. Uh, I'm going to pay you back on to that because uh, uh, I, I pre-ordered the game about a month ago, and uh, the game released. Uh, and I have been playing. I might have logged about forty hours now into the game, uh, and it's only been uh, three days, so it's it's already more than almost two days worth of playing. I've unlocked fifty characters, and I just can't stop. So, uh, guys, it's addicting. It might be the way that it's going. It might be the best-selling Smash game. Uh, ever uh, the way that I, what I've heard so y- you guys are missing out if you don't have a Nintendo Switch right now you guys can play with us I'll give you my my friend code okay and, and so uh, Nintendo great job M- Masahiro Sakurai the guy who in charge of Super Smash Brothers he's a saint he uh, we don't deserve him okay we, we'll ask we'll never ask for anything from him ever again uh, because he put every single almost every single thing in this game and uh yeah. Uh, That's what we'll ask about. <laughs> hey, Shin. Welcome. Okay, yeah. So, sorry, Shin. Uh, we're kind of coming to the end of this, but go. <laughs> okay, well, we have to throw in the rest of our segments, at least. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll, we're, we're actually going to throw that in, too. But, All right. I, <laughs> um, my non-sponsor of the week would have to be the city of Orlando. Okay. Uh, I went up there this weekend for... Uh, for business and tourism, we're gonna chop this up and send it to the tourism board. Exactly, um, and just going up there really recharges my batteries. Even though it was a really work-filled weekend, I didn't really get to have a lot of fun. Visit my old stomping grounds. Just seeing kind of the wide open spaces. Actually, you can see sky and you can see green forestry. Um, Traffic jams are less are less existent than they are in Miami. You're not getting nearly killed by drivers every five seconds. Uh, I don't know. I just I love Orlando. I, I, I spent most of my life there. I actually want to piggyback on that too because I, I went to Orlando a month. You're doing no work here. You're just you're you're. <laughs> benefiting on the ideas of Charles. Last I. month I went to Disney World. Mm-hmm. Um and at that point I was kind of a little you know, I hadn't gone on like a I I guess a mini vacation in a while, so I was, you know, stressed out from work and all that stuff. And it was my nephew's birthday. Family goes up to Orlando. We sat at the Orlando World Center Marriott next to mm-hmm. Disney World. And it, like you said, it recharged my batteries. I I came back and I was like, "Man, that was so good to not think about work you know just go in the pool uh, go down the water slides and, and just kind of hang out eat the food and, and just like and you said greenery just m- much more green than miami that's for sure and i have this discussion a lot i i always i constantly worry that as orlando grows that it'll become kind of miami north in the sense that Everything will be built up and things like that, and I, it will be coming eventually. It's it's inevitable, but I get the sense that Orlando was planned out well enough that it's still going to be a very open, kind of green area. And I, that's like Francisco said. I go up there whenever I can, whether it's to go to a UCF football game, 
uh, for business, you name it. Whenever I go up there, it's just peaceful. I, I miss living there. Hopefully I'll move back there in the near future. So Orlando Tourism Board, I, I can guarantee, even though this is our non-sponsors, obviously I'm not being sponsored to say this, but Orlando, I love you and I hope, hope to be back in the city beautiful in the near future. All right. Give it up for Orlando and Nintendo, everyone. <laughs> uh, speaking of, I mean, uh, we're going to have that, that melding soon because uh, there's going to be a Nintendo World and, and Universal Studios in Orlando. So. Yep. So, so, so I guess we should give a additional non-sponsor shout-out to Universal Studios yeah. for, for, for foreseeing uh, this segment. Yeah, and... <laughs> And Shin wants to add in that. Hey, that rhyme. He doesn't have. They don't have much to add except Smash is great. <laughs> well, we got to play with Shin at some point. Shin, put up, put up your friend code, or we'll, we'll add you. Um, okay, 